Hey everyone, welcome back. If you didn't know, the CMU team recently released a major update so that the Wii U emulator can be optimized for multi-threaded workloads. And this change has made it possible to run Breath of the Wild and a lot of other Wii U games on fairly weak hardware. So I set up Breath of the Wild on several of our computers here, and my daughter had mentioned several times that she really wished she could play as a girl. So I did some digging around and it turns out that there's actually a lot of mods that do that. I settled on the Linkle mod because it's a lot more than just a model swap. A team of people have coalesced around this idea of a girl link, and they've created a full-blown overhaul that transforms the whole experience, so it seamlessly works using a girl link. And when I say seamless, I mean the dialogues all change, the items are all remodeled, and even the gender references are accurate. Hell, you can even walk right into Gerudo Town without needing a special cross-dressing outfit. Anyways, all the links that you need to follow along are in this video's description. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is run this BCML bot loader. If you get this warning here from Windows, you can right click, go to properties and check this box that says unblock. Click apply, click OK, and then it'll let you execute the setup exe. This is a standard wizard. You're just going to click Next, I agree, and then on the destination, click Browse, and browse to the directory where you want to install the mod loader tool. I'm installing in D programs, and then we're gonna make a new folder and call it BCML. Click OK, click Install. Install will take a minute or two, let it run until it finishes. And click finish and you're done. The tool is installed and it should be in your start menu. Now go ahead and launch the BCML utility from going to start menu. It should be at the top or just type BCML. In the Windows firewall prompt, be sure to click allow access. And here's the main UI for the BCML utility. So we're going to start here by clicking the next arrow. And next again. Here we need to set our directories. So browse to your CMU directory. For me, it is in D games, no, D programs, CMU. And then I click select folder and it should auto detect the base game update and DLC directories. Select the USEN option for language if you are in the United States. And then click the save button to save these settings. Then click next. And our setup is now complete. We're now ready to start loading mods. Now in the lower right hand corner, click the plus button to start installing a mod. Click the browse button. And we want to browse to the directory where you downloaded the main Linkle mod. For me, that's D games, BCML manager, Linkle, and then Linkle mod. And we want to highlight all of these BNP files and then select open. We want to drag the main Linkle mod mod to the top to ensure that that's the first one that installs. And then the rest of the order is not that important. Go ahead and click the install button to begin installing these mods. Okay, so at this point, the main Linkle mod is done. You could actually play the game now and it will launch and you'll notice that your model is now Linkle and most of the aspects of the game have been changed to use Linkle. There are some other essential mods that you're gonna want for the complete overhaul. So check the video description for those. Specifically, you're gonna to want to install the Ballad of Linkle, which is a mod that's gonna fix Link's voice. So that it always uses the female voice. You're going to want the Linkle Armor icon pack so that when you're looking at the armor in your inventory, it will show female icons instead of the male Linkle one. And you're going to want the Linkle mod title screen as well so that when you start your game, you'll get the special Linkle edition version branding on the main menu. So that's all there is to it. There's some other really fantastic mods out there. And if you guys are interested, let me know and I can show you how to install those or I can demonstrate how they work. As always, feel free to leave questions and concerns and comments for me to review, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.